deadly, a deadly Labor Day weekend here in Atlanta. Shootings on Saturday and Sunday left multiple people dead and police are still investigating. A violent weekend. 11 Lives Molly Oak is at the scene at one of those Atlanta shootings off Piedmont Road. Molly, police are still searching for a suspect. This is the scene of just one of the shootings police are still investigating after a weekend of violence. It started on Saturday. Atlanta police got a call about a person shot and killed near Thomasville Boulevard Southeast and Henry Thomas Drive. Police say they later learned that shooting happened off Norwood Road Southeast. Police say the suspect is in jail. Then two hours later, APD is still investigating after getting a call about a shooting off Fairburn Road Northwest where they found a man dead. Later that morning, police headed to another shooting, this one off of Magnolia Way Northwest. Police say a man died at the hospital after getting shot. They arrested the suspect later that day. Then Saturday, just after noon, police headed to a shooting at Margaret Place Northwest and say a woman died after heading to the hospital. Police say they made an arrest in this shooting, too. That takes us into Sunday, a little after 1.30 a.m. Police got a call about a person shot off Piedmont Road, where a man died at the hospital. Police say they're now looking for this person of interest who was driving a Kia K5 with dark tinted windows. Then at 10 a.m. off Adkins Road Northwest, APD got a call about a shooting that left three adults and two kids ages 15 and three hospitalized. Police say the shooter, an 18-year-old, shot and killed himself. APD thinks this shooting was domestic. Police also arrested two people following another Sunday shooting. This one happened just before 7 p.m. on Whitehall Street. At last check, a woman was hospitalized in critical condition. Reporting in Atlanta, Molly Oak, 11 Alive News. There's a lot going on here in Metro Atlanta. By the way, for the very latest on these investigations and to hear more from Atlanta's police chief about the ongoing violence and what's being done to stop it, just visit our website, 11alive.com.